hello and welcome to my channel um i haven't posted in a while so this is going to be interesting because i'm trying my hand at vlogging um my name is Maisha, and if this is your first time here thank you so much for coming if you like what you see please hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell I, i'm very inconsistent so i won't be blowing up your phone or any of your devices um anyway so i have lunch here this is my lunch vlog i have a salad from portillo's and I, you know i just want to talk it's it's been a long time since i've been on here and i just kind of want to have a conversation while i eat um so it is october so and october is breast cancer awareness month it's also pregnancy and infant loss month it's also Today is National Coming Out Day. It's also National Indigenous Persons Day. It's like a lot of days. And it seems like I've experienced, like I have all of those experiences. So it's National Breast Cancer Awareness month and i'm a breast cancer survivor so yay me yay 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 um it's been a year and a half or like yeah almost a year and a half since i had my last radiation treatment so i'm really excited about that so that was good this is one of my favorite salads and I think I just like salad with pasta in it but um it's National Indigenous People's Day my grandfather was Cherokee on my mom's side was Cherokee we have Native American on both sides of the family so I feel really connected to that as well and then it is National Infant and Pregnancy Loss Day I had a stillborn baby at 29 weeks about 21 years ago so I definitely have that experience and it's National Coming Out Day and I just realized, I mean, I've always known there was something, but it just dawned on me within the last couple of weeks that I'm asexual. Who knew? You know, and, I, and every time I tell someone I'm asexual, they say, what does that mean? So what it means is I don't experience sexual attraction or I experience it differently than other people. But honestly, I don't experience sexual attraction. So never have, it was a big problem in the first marriage. Um, he really thought that I could get fixed, um, that there's something wrong with me based on maybe childhood trauma or something like that, which is possible, but the childhood trauma be happened before I ever had any sexual attraction. So, you know, I don't know if it would have been there or not, but it's never been there for me. Never, never been there for me. You know, I'm attracted romantically to people. I'm attracted intellectually to people. I can have form special connections with people and... I mean, I like sex, it's fine, I guess. Um, I can take it or leave it to be quite honest, but um, you know, clearly, I mean, I have kids, I, I've had sex, I've been married twice, you know, um, and I was always trying to figure out like what's, what's happening, like what's wrong, like why am I not sexually attracted to people? You know, in college when everybody was talking about it, I was like, hmm. And so I went out to try to have sex with as many people as I could. Because <laughs> I was thinking maybe I just hadn't met the right person yet. As people say, well, joke's on them. I actually met a lot of great people. Some, I think could have had long lasting relationships with if I had known what was going on with me, could have been true to myself, could have communicated that better. Um, 
but you know, if someone expected me to look at them and be like, mm, I could hit that. It's just not, it's just not me. And mind you, I've done that before because, you know, I'm trying to be like other people and trying to fit in and stuff like that. But honestly, he's never, ever been that. I mean, I see a guy that dance, I used to be in college, you see a guy that dance well and it was a thing if he could dance well and he got go, as they said. So I based it on that, but honestly, I still didn't look at them and be like, ooh, sex, like never. Like I, I didn't think people did that. Like I thought that, you know, everybody was just saying that, you know, and what they really meant was the person looks nice. And I have aesthetic attraction to people, so I don't know. But I just realized what the term was for it, and I've been listening to other people's stories and you know, somebody, I read someone's or heard someone's story and they said that, you know, you know, sex was like chores, like doing the dishes. And if I didn't say that so many times when I was married, if I didn't say that, that is just so funny. I was like, dang, I so said that. Like, it's a chore. It's just like doing anything else, like dishes, vacuuming, whatever, sex, just get it over with, do something else, you know. It's not the greatest thing, you know, but that's how it was. Well, anyway. Happy coming out day to me and everybody else who's had to come out. <laughs> I am asexual, paramanic, asexual. That's what I am. So I do like to hold hands and intimacy and stuff. Just not the sex part. If, if, it's, if it's up to me. But, you know, a lot of people require that in relationships. And I get it. So, you know, it's fine. I don't even know if I post this. I'm hoping I will because there's so many people I haven't told and and I know I don't owe my coming out to anybody um, but I feel like people will feel slighted that I didn't tell them but it's just like sometimes you just don't know how to tell people when you know they're going to have like what is that? What does that mean? Instead of Googling it, they're going to say what does that mean? And they're going to think asexual means anti-sex or you're against sex and it's not the case at all I'm actually very um sex positive like I'm not you know probably sex indifferent when it comes to myself but outwardly to the world I don't care whatever people do like whatever have fun but it's just you know for me personally it's I could take it or leave it but yeah and it took me all of 51 years to realize it you know because I think back in the 80s, I really didn't, I mean, I knew gay and lesbian. In the 90s, I knew queer, but I still didn't know asexual. Not really, you know? And so it just really, really stuck, I guess, this time, where I was trying to prove I wasn't asexual, I think. I think I knew something was wrong, or not wrong, but something was different. And I was trying to prove that it wasn't, like I wasn't different, you know? Like, I'm just like everybody else. No, 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 no. I just haven't met the right person yet. I'm telling myself the other things that people tell asexual people. So, you know, I'm just glad that I figured it out. And I know they said about 1% of the population is asexual, which is, um, amounts to like 7 million people. Um, I, I honestly think that's probably more than, than, than people think, you know? Probably more than that. It's just people don't even realize it. Or they're trying to get, get it quote unquote fixed. This salad is so good. It's from Portillo's. It's a chopped salad. It just reminds me of home. Home being Chicago. And this salad reminds me of home because in Chicago, you get a chopped salad with pasta in it. Oh my goodness. And it's really hard to find out here in California. So <clears throat> they even got Maxwell Street Polish's at. Portillo's and I know it's not gonna taste like 
a Polish from actual Maxwell Street, but it's probably the closest thing I'm gonna get out here. So I'll probably travel on one day when, you know, I'm not gonna be around that many people. <laughs> So, if anybody's on the A spectrum, if you've had a infant pregnancy loss, you're a breast cancer survivor, you are not alone. You are not alone. I'm right there with you. I also want to say that, you know, it's been a rough couple of weeks on um, Beauty YouTube because of the passing of Mel Thompson. And, you know, she was a light. She was a light. Uh, she was, you know, and she didn't know me personally, although, like, you know, she didn't know me personally at all. Every now and then on a lot, I would always jump on her lives and, you know, she would highlight my comments sometimes and stuff like that but she honestly didn't know me at all and you know it's just so hard because she was so young and vibrant and busy you know and I know that she had her you know ill ailments and things like that and she took it in stride and she did what she could when she could and she just did so much you know and I think about her children because I lost my mom when I was a whole grown adult. So I can't even imagine losing my mom as, as a child. My heart goes out to her children and her husband, Puffin. And her best friend, Kelsey. I watched Kelsey's video and it broke my heart. I know Teresa's dad was friends with her and Tara and Jenna Fress. I just, my heart goes out to all of the people that she touched because I know, I mean, she didn't even know me, but she, she definitely had a place because I would turn on her videos and know that I would smile. Hey, beauties. And I would smile. So I just, I know I'm going to miss her new any new content that she may have created but i'm definitely going to go back and watch her videos and if you don't know who she is please look her up on youtube um look at her videos you know it's the best way to help her family out um kelsey brianna J has a gofundme to help her family out if you have it or you're so inclined to help the family out right now or anytime yeah but also just looking at her videos you know will help contribute as well so i just wanted to say you know mel you you will be missed so i've literally never done this i've never done like a mukbang type of type of uh <laughs> type of video you know so this is going to be interesting i may end up cutting out some of the chewing just so that you know you're not watching all that but it might end up being a five minute vlog <laughs> but yeah so yeah i guess that's it that's all i really have for today um yeah just i've been thinking a lot and i just wanted to get on here and talk it out a little bit and you know who knows Maybe I'll do this again, you know, like I'm only in the office on Monday and Wednesday, so I could potentially do lunchtime vlogs on Mondays and Wednesdays, you know, I'll post them maybe Tuesdays and Thursdays or something like that. Let me know what you guys think. I think it would be really great, you know, so beautiful out here in California. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to all my Chicagoans that I love and miss. Sorry, y'all got a tornado warning right now. 
and out here it is just 75 and gorgeous so have a wonderful day be kind to yourself take it easy on yourself don't be so hard on yourself and um have you know just embrace life